The atmosphere is once again tensed as long queues resurface at several filling stations across the country. The current fuel scarcity, which has extended into the sixth week, has been attributed to the impact of the recent rains, thunderstorms, lightnings, preventing the distribution of fuel to different filling stations, according to the Nigerian National Petroleum Company Limited. We are here on the street of Lagos to see how this has affected Nigerians. Join us. My experience here yeah, with the correct uh, uh, first scarcity has been so terrible and horrible in the sense that uh, uh, there, there has been queue everywhere. This morning I was coming from a uh, Haja area. It took me almost uh, five hours to reach uh, Ikeja this morning and uh, to quickly meet a client is actually very difficult because there are lot of, uh, a lot of filling stations uh, that are closed up and few filling stations that are opened. Uh, they, there are a lot of queue, so there is old up everywhere and uh, the, even the price of fuel is even outrageous in some local places, I mean some places. There are sellers that will go to filling station buy in case, line up on the road, sell it at in outrageous prices and it has been, uh, let me say 1,000, 1,005 like that. So it has been very, very difficult and a difficult situation. I really don't know what's happening because because um, at first I was I was told that when Dangote start um, getting fuel, fuel scarcity will be thing of the past. But to my greatest surprise, uh, for the past two weeks now we've been battling for fuel. Very very serious. From I, I can't I can't say because it's very too much. It's too much. You can't see all this, uh, this thing, this type of things is very serious. Man. If they want to increase, let them announce simple, that uh, so, so I'm not the simple thing. But this one, maybe now, they just the fear, I don't know. There's no fuel. Well, if you want to buy fuel now, 700, 800, even though if you go far, another place, they are selling 900. I travel one day. When we want to buy fuel, we buy eight something, nine something. <laughs> it's very serious. Though. The experience has been very terrible. Like yesterday, today now, I had to carry a big bag to the court. I got to court very late because of that. My car is at home, parked at home because I couldn't get fuel. All through yesterday, I was at the filling station. All through yesterday. And uh, this issue of uh, fuel station selling to jerry can instead of car it's, it's something else you know jerry can they sell to jerry can and they make money from it you, if, when they sell to car of course you buy without uh, payment so they prefer to sell to jerry can those who are selling at black market rate i'm coming from the island now and because of the queue on the on the road there are a lot of traffic because of some, so it's very hard to see. So now we can't. I can't even drive now. Why? Because I, I can't be queuing for fuel, and, uh, and then I'll now be on the road for a while again and spend the same fuel. So the first case has um, bring a lot of um, hardship, and moving around has not been easy, especially in Lagos here so far. The last I bought was uh, 850. Yes. Yes, and so I heard that they are selling it for 900 now, I don't know. Yeah. And still, we can't, it's not available for us to buy. I bought for one, uh, 965 Naira per litre, just uh, six days ago. I'm not driving now because I'm on some official assignment, but that's how terrible it is. 965 Naira per litre is crazy. The situation is getting worse than even before. And I don't know whether even they cannot find a remedy for this uh, current suffering in the court of the first city. A lot of people, they are very stranded on the road and, uh, you know, it's, it's not even easy before. Chocolate of having the first city problem and the transport has been increased every day. The cost of a uh, uh, commodity in the market is being increased because of the cost of the fresh car city. It's telling on us, seriously. Selling is telling on us. For me, for example, I have a car. I have to park my car now and start using the public uh, tra start using the public transport. 
and at, and at the same time uh, do trekking. I think we, the government have to do something about it for the uh, future generation not to experience this, uh, this thing. And that is by make, making sure that our refineries, including the private ones, make them functional. And if they are functional and everything is okay, I don't think uh, this uh, fuel scarcity will, uh, will be a thing of the past. With certain filling stations selling as high as 1,000 Naira and the outrageous queues at the cheaper ones, the fuel scarcity continues to bite even harder. What has been your experience so far? Do let us know in the comments. If Naya Okoli for The Guardian TV.